Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Z. If you are new here, welcome. This is going to be a general read for Geminis. It's for February the 11th, for, for February the 11th and 12th, but this could happen at any time, honestly. Um, so yeah, just take what resonates. If you are interested in a current energy reading, I'm now offering those. They're they're actually on sale, so now they're currently $45. That's just only for the current energy readings, but if you need like a different type of read, use the link in my description box. Um, all the information for readings, my payment links, all that stuff is in the description box below. So yeah. What does Gemini need to know for February the 11th through the 12th? Today is currently the 10th um, as I'm doing this read. What does Gemini need to know for February the 11th and 12th? What guidance can I give them at this time? Ooh, so, wow, Gemini. For some of you guys, there's going to be some type of ending or it's like an ending occurring um, with this Ten of Swords showing up. For some of you guys, it's like maybe you have been thinking about this as well. It's like maybe you've been taking a, like, a really deep look within about some things ending in your life. But yeah, Ten of Swords showing up first. What else do they need to know? What else does Gemini need to know for February the 11th and 12th? Ooh, so we got two tens out here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. It could be like an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. But I see you looking into a new direction, um, Gemini. I don't know why I was about to say Libra. What in the world? <laughs> but ten of pentacles showing up here. Some of you guys could definitely be seeing ten ten. So there's definitely some type of ending occurring here. But look, you're on your way up here. So it's like with this ending showing up, it looks like... um your ten, your ten of pentacles is in reach here. I do see where there's some type of ending in regards to like a money situation and also to like a family situation as well. What else does Gemini need to know for February the 11th and 12th? Yeah, there was some type of conflict. There could definitely be some type of communication that's coming towards you. But Gemini, I feel like you're going towards something here with this the Knight of Swords showing up. I feel like this is your energy. So whatever this is, it's wanting you to take action on doing so. But I'm seeing like an aggressive type of energy too because we got the Five of Wands that showed up. So it's out here um, on the table, but then it's like this Knight of Swords came out. So I just feel like some type of conflict or like some type of aggressive type of energy that's showing up for some of you guys you could be angry that something ended or i see some type of ending to family conflict as well but it definitely has something to do with like um well um like money and other people give me one more for gemini for february the 11th and 12th Yeah, so I see where something's going to be balancing out here in regards to like a money situation. We got the two of pentacles that showed up, but for some of you guys, you could definitely be in this like two of swords type of energy where you could definitely be needing to make a decision about um, some money issues. That's what it looks like for some, but let's see what else is showing up here. Clarify this ten of swords. It's like you guys need balance in a situation. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. Thank you. So, okay, so we got the Knight of Cups that's showing up here. For some of you guys, I see where there could be some type of like internal conflict in regards to a situation, but Gemini, you need to follow your heart. Here, I feel like I always say that in a Gemini read. I don't know why that is. It could just be for somebody who watches my channel. I don't know. But it's when you to follow your heart. It's like, it looks like something ended, right, Gemini? But then it's like, hey, um, for some of y'all, you could definitely be like moving on from a certain situation as well. For some of y'all, you could definitely be coming out, of, uh, coming out of hermit mode. I see some form of like express, um, some form of like emotions being expressed here as well. With this Knight of Cups that's showing up. So, yeah, but it looks like other people are, well, are like up against you, Gemini. But it looks like it's in regards to like family for somebody. It's almost like maybe you had to like defend yourself as well. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. 
Yeah, so the fire sign is showing up here, but it looks like you, you could be wanting to go towards a fire sign. Now, they don't have to be a fire sign, but it's like someone that you find very, very attractive. You could see your Ten of Pentacles with this person as well, with the Queen of Wands showing up here. Because the way, yeah, I'm seeing like a new partnership happening for someone, but it looks like Gemini, you could have just left a situation as well. But yeah, this is the way it's showing up here. This Knight of Cups is coming towards a fire sign. And the rose could definitely be reversed as well. But Gemini, I see you making plans. Yeah, it looks like for some of you guys, you could definitely be making plans to communicate to someone from what's showing up. It looks like someone's about to make a, like, a really, really bold move here in regards to communication, expressing how they feel. Tell me about this Five of Wands. What's the conflict about? What's this Five of Wands? Clarify the Five of Wands for Gemini. Clarify this Five of Wands for Gemini. What is this about? Yeah, so the Two of Wands is showing up here. So it looks like there could have been some type of conflict in regards to, um, I feel like it could be internal conflict in regards to communication, um, it looks like someone could have been like planning on communicating, but it's like too much internal conflict. Now you could have had some type of conflict with a fire sign, but I see communication. This communication is bringing in like a new beginning. It's wanting you to take action, Gemini, or someone's going to be taking action towards you. Let's see. Tell me about this two of pentacles for a Gemini. Yeah. Six of wands for some of you guys. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be balancing out like your personal life, like work life and in your love life too. I feel like maybe you guys were trying to find some type of balance or peace in a situation as well before you move forward towards a new situation. That's what it looks like because it shows where you're moving on, Gemini, towards like a peaceful, a much peaceful situation where someone's coming towards you. Yeah, you guys could definitely want to give into like something new. I've seen the Empress as well. So, yeah, it's like you had an ending, but then it's like a new beginning. Um, whatever this is, is definitely something that's in your heart. Um, this is your intuition as well. You guys could be wanting to, like, go towards someone with, like, a love offer as well. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. Tell me about this Ten of Swords one more time for Gemini. Yeah, so we got the World card showing up. So this definitely indicates like a new cycle for someone, especially if you went through some type of ending. So yeah, this looks really, really good. Whatever this is, it's going to be super, super successful. But again, it's wanting you to follow your heart here as well from what's showing up. I'm going to pull an Oracle card for y'all. Give me one for Gemini for this spread. Give me one for Gemini. So we got forgiveness. So I do feel like for some of you guys, you could have definitely been um, undergoing some type of transformation. But I do feel like it's about, with this forgiveness, I feel like it has something to do with like family. Or this could have even been like some type of um, betrayal as well with this Ten of Swords showing up. So it's wanting you to forgive, but also to us like move on. Now, I know everybody has their own little, you know, interpretation on forgiveness. Like, I do believe that at some point, it's like you're going to have to forgive. Um, now, you you can forgive yourself and other people, but by you forgiving another person, it doesn't mean you have to, like, still deal with them. It's just basically making peace about a certain situation. So, let me get another one. So, I feel like with this forgiveness, you could be wanting to ask somebody for your forgiveness, Gemini, especially with this five of wands showing up. Because there was some type of conflict. It could have been like a small disagreement, honestly. So, let's see. Give me another one for Gemini. So, we got use your personal power. Yes, yeah, speak your truth. So, yeah, this is where the communication coming in at. It's when you to speak your truth, Gemini, or someone's going to be speaking the truth to you. But it's saying use your personal power. It's kind of like just standing up for yourself, but also to it's like approaching a situation like not being afraid to speak your truth it looks like someone's planning on communicating give me one more for gemini 
So we got Raise Your Vibe that's showing up. Yeah, for some of y'all, you could definitely be like in this Ten of Swords energy right now. Um, Because the way it's showing up is like someone's like low in regards to like energy. But it's when you to raise your vibration by you speaking your truth. That's you raising your vibration as well. Because it's like when we don't speak our truth, it's like we're not really living in our truth so yeah it's like you need to speak your mind do whatever it is that's um that's being placed in your heart here with this knight of cups so yeah definitely a time to raise your vibe i feel like for some of you guys you could have cut off some people too um you know it could have been definitely in regards to like drama or like low vibrational energy it's like no like i feel like somebody wants to get away from that look new beginnings and opportunities showing up and we got relationships so it's like if you did have an ending within a relationship or a partnership look you got something new on the horizon with its new beginnings and opportunities like you have better things in store for you but i feel like it's already it's already been placed on someone's heart to like go towards something so i don't know what that could be for you but yeah that's what's showing up i'm going to end the read here i hope that it was helpful and insightful of course you guys can um, leave a comment below, give the video a thumbs up because it does help me here on YouTube and you can subscribe um, as well.